Hello everyone, I'm happy to see you on my channel. Today we're going to draw an air balloon with a beautiful background, so if you are ready, let's get started. First let's choose the canvas, click on the plus sign, then let's work with the square size today. And let's choose a color for our background and drag the color to our layer, background layer. And now let's choose our brush, studio pen in the inking section and let's choose the dark color create a new layer and draw mountains the code of each color that i'm using in this video you'll see on the screen as usual so you can use the same colors let's color fill our mountains and create a new layer let's activate the drawing assistant tool symmetry and drag the symmetry line to the right because we're going to draw our balloon a bit closer to the right side not in the center and let's choose the first color of our balloon and let's draw a shape that looks like a heart but it's not hard And let's choose a bit darker version of this color create a new layer put it below the current layer turn the assisting tool on and draw another heart shape you can fix it and let's color it the symmetry tool is very helpful if you need to draw something symmetrical Again, let's choose a bit darker version of the previous color and create a new layer, drawing assist. One more. And one more layer. Again, a bit darker version of the purple color. Okay, and another layer, drawing assist. Let's make it a bit lighter and add the middle section. And color fill it. That's it. Now let's create a new layer and again drawing assist, put it below of our balloon layers, choose the color that we used for the mountains and let's draw the rest part of our balloon, a basket. Very simple because the air balloon is far so we can't really see the small details. And now let's work on the shadows. Let's create a new layer above our purple layers, linear burn, maybe around 30%. Charcoal brush, willow charcoal. And don't forget to turn the drawing assist on and also the clipping mask. So this way we'll draw only on this layer and add a bit of shadows. And we'll repeat these steps with the next layer. Again, linear burn, 30%, clipping mask, drawing assist and add more shadows here. Don't press too hard because the shadows are not very dark. Again, linear burn. So basically we're repeating the same steps with each section of our balloon.
and now we're going to add highlights to our balloon so let's create a new layer above our first set drawing assist clipping mask let's choose add around 45 percent light yellow color and add some highlights and we're going to do the same with the next section the mode add 45 percent clipping mask drawing assist and add some highlights here too and more here i prefer to create a new layer for each set again drawing assist clipping mask more highlights So with the simple details, our balloon looks much better and it takes only a few extra minutes to add some shadows and highlights or lights. And the last one in the middle. And we can group our balloon layers if you select all of them and click on group. We can rename our group to air balloon we're organized and let's create a new layer below our mountains choose the purple color air brush soft brush and add a bit of purple behind the mountains And we can use the Gaussian Blur tool to blur it. Maybe around 35%. And let's choose a bit darker version of the blue color, of the sky color. And add more colors on the top of our sky again, Gaussian Blur maybe just around 10 percent now let's go to luminance let's choose light pen and the color light blue let's create a new layer and add some stars in random areas you can press lightly and if you want to have a bit brighter stars you can press Harder. And once you are done adding your stars, duplicate this layer and go to the arrow tool, flip it horizontally, make it a bit bigger and add more stars. Very easy. And I decided to add a bit bigger stars, just a few brighter stars. Now let's go to organic brushes, rainforest or purple color and let's create a new layer for our clouds and add some clouds. Big and small and now let's remove some of the stars that are behind the clouds and that's it don't forget to turn your symmetry tool off and I really hope that you like this video, thank you for watching it and I'll see you very soon.